Hey everyone, welcome to Sunday Stills, my semi-weekly uh, show on photography. Um, today we're going to talk uh, about some photography I did in Virginia City. It's the whiny, complainy version of my show, so... But it has some interesting things, so let's get into it. I don't even know what I'm doing out here. Just, uh... I think I'm looking for something that's not there. It's one of those days when you want to go out and photograph something, but at the same time you don't want to leave the house. But, uh, there's got to be something here at night, right? Anything? Let's see. This is probably my favorite photograph of the evening. Um, it's just a knick-knack shop but it had been closed up and all the lights were off but this and the dusk lighting kind of added a nice uh, soft lighting to the background and then let the lamp kind of illuminate the rest of it. I mean, it's not an amazing photograph or anything like that but it's, it's just a nice shot for the day, right? So this is probably my favorite one from the day. So as you probably could tell already I'm not having the uh, best day but uh just burned through an entire god damn it. Just burned through an entire battery in about two minutes because I didn't charge my goddamn batteries. I had backups, so I'm still still shooting and rolling, but uh God damn I hate making mistakes like that. It's like oh I forgot all my film, but it's worse than that because you just forgot one simple fucking step charge your goddamn batteries. Uh I hope I get at least one shot tonight. Wish I had been able to get a little better shot of this. I thought it was pretty cool. The guy was working on his restaurant in the middle of the, uh, I guess what should have been a dinner rush, but was just a dinner lull. Um, it was pretty cool. You know, I decided to go with black and white because uh, the lighting's very orangey, and I just didn't feel it added anything to the photo. So I put it in black and white. Uh, went heavy on the darks, heavy on the lights. You know, just kind of to go with that old feel with the blur and everything like that. It's definitely not a portfolio shot, but, you know, it's it's an interesting little shot for the day kind of thing. And that's what most of these are, just kind of photographs from the day. But um, I wish this one had come out better. I think this one would have been my favorite if, I don't know, I guess something just a little different about it. Oh, well. Shit happens, I guess. Well, <clears throat> I've walked about walked about 50% of uh, I'm bad with the camera tonight. Walked about 50% of uh, the town since it's only one street, and I have maybe no usable photos, and uh, it's really cold, so it's going well. I don't know. I just don't want to turn the camera off because it gives me something to talk to at this point. It's fuck. I don't know. At least I'm out here. I am. I am happier out here than I was sitting down. I'm really sorry about the camera, but I'm just not in the mood. All right. Next part. In all, uh, in all truth, this photo was probably more of a out of desperation, out of not being able to find a really good photograph at night in an old west town and uh, I think I was grasping at straws with this one it's not I mean I like the the shadows you know it's got good contrast but let's be honest it's a boring shot there's there's really no focal point but like I said it's more important to go out and photograph a bad photograph than it is to not go out and photograph um, a shitty image is always going to beat out an image that doesn't exist. So, something to hold your hat up, I guess. Why do you say hold your hat up? That doesn't even make sense. Jesus, I'm tired. Uh, I wish I was a braver photographer. There was a really cool picture back there. Uh, I'll describe it in a minute, but uh, I didn't take the shot because I just got, I don't know. You get that feeling like uh, this could be a lot more trouble than it's worth. I got that feeling, so. It would have been a really good shot, though. It might have been perfect. Oh. So, I definitely like this shot. 
more than the uh, the last one because that that big dark shadow coming across the bottom of the screen from the bottom right up to the left corner it gives a nice line for the eye and then it kind of it's very light in the front and it goes dark to the back there's still not really anything interesting about the shot but um, this is definitely better than the other one that being said it's still not great but I don't know I guess I don't know I like this one for some reason it's not a portfolio shot I'm not you know thrilled with it but I don't know I like it for some reason I don't know something about that how the shadows go I guess well if you're seeing this which I'm assuming is out of focus you've made it to the end of the video and I congratulate you uh, I'm still happy I went out and I guess that's the moral of the story or the point of this episode whatever you want to say is but I didn't have a good time particularly I didn't get any good shots and uh, I don't know. I don't know. But I'm I'm happy that I went, and that's what's important. <sighs> Just keep telling yourself that. No, no. I mean, it, it, I am serious though. It uh, it was better to go and not get a photo than to sit on the couch and have no chance of getting a photo. And uh, oh, the photograph I missed that would have made the night. I would I would have gotten a shot. Maybe not portfolio worthy but easily a, a, a nice good shot to have it was a uh, I don't know like a St. Bernard or something though the rum dogs and uh, it was sitting on the floor on like its own little mat in a bar and there were a bunch of people in like cowboy hats all talking to the bartender and it just had this like gorgeous like shitty dust on the lights lighting so kind of dim little orange that was a really good shot, but uh, I don't know. Something I don't I don't feel comfortable taking pictures of bars. And I don't really t feel comfortable taking pictures of people uh, that aren't very doing something else. And uh, I don't know. Yeah, add alcohol into that. And it just seems like a uh, uh, a risky. I mean, I could talk. I feel confident that I could talk my way out of a problem. But at the same time, uh, I don't really want to. Oh, and my voice sounds like shit because I'm sick. So that that added to my uh, level of enjoyment. So I promise a better episode next week. I promise it will be next week and not three months later like I usually do. But uh, I don't know. It's fall. It's cold. I don't know. Let's. I guess we'll do some leaves or something. That's the traditional bullshit, right? It's fall. You have to go take pictures of leaves like every other photographer out there. But, um, I don't know. Maybe we can throw some kind of desert twist on it. You know, it's not that many, tr I almost said a bad word. There's not that many trees out here. So, uh, maybe it'll be fun. Be more fun than this. <laughs>